I'm also gonna show you how to put it on a pole if you wanna stick it in someone's yard or you can have it freestanding on a post. What you need for this one is 17 white 11 inch linking balloons, 12 rose 260s with the 10 finger tail, 10 lavender 260s with a 10 finger tail, six pink 260s with the 10 finger tail, five yellow five inch balloons, 10 pink five inch balloons, six Caribbean blue 260s with a 10 finger tail, one yellow 350, scrap piece, like half of it, and one purple violet 350. It's about a 15 finger bubble. Okay, let's get started. about an eight inch size, which is about the size of your head. So inflate five and tie all the ends together to make a ring and do that three times. So you need three sets, just like this. For now, you wanna set your white rings aside and we're going to make these little flowers that go around the cake. So since there are only five little creases for the flowers to go in, we're going to make five of the same color flowers with the same color middles, just for showing you um, how to do this. You can switch it up to however you want, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you this way. Uh, five of another color, I have yellow on this one, and the bottom layer I have matching the top. So let's get started with the flowers. And for my next cake, I'm going to use pink and yellow flowers with yellow centers. And I'm going to do that on the middle ring and I'm gonna use lavender flowers on the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna need five pink flowers with yellow middles and I'm gonna use 10 lavender flowers with pink middles. To make your flowers, you wanna inflate a 260 with a 10 finger tail. Let a little puff of air out before you tie it. Then let's make two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them. Hold here, hold the knot tight while you turn. And then squeeze it a little bit, make another cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist that. And now make a little cherry tomato sized bubble again. And then we're gonna make six little loops that go around one finger. So one, two, and if it gets tight, just squeeze it up towards the end. You have plenty of room. Three, four, five, and six. And if it's hard for you to make flowers or do this, you can try one sixties, which might be a little bit easier. And then we're gonna cut this little knob at the top and let the air out, or you can pop and tie it off if you know how to do that. Let out the air. And then tie it in a knot. And then you wanna take a little yellow five inch round and puff it, a little bit of air into it and make it about the size of a golf ball. And squish it up towards the you know, upper half of the balloon. So you have this knot, pull it down and then stretch it right into that little flower. I'm gonna continue this four more times and then I'm gonna make lavender ones with pink middles. I'm gonna make 10 more. So I have the flowers at the top and the flowers in the middle and the bottom. Now you wanna pick up one of your rings and you wanna put the flowers the whole way around these little creases. So take the little pinch twisted parts and wrap them around the creases. Just kind of twist them in. Go the whole way around the balloon. Do this with the other two sets too. Pick up two layers of your cake after the flowers are on. 
Then let's take one of the rows, two sixties with a 10 finger tail. Wrap the knot at the bottom where these two pitch twists are. Just wrap it right in the crease, pull it, and wrap it around that pinch twist right at the bottom. Can you see that? Kind of wrap it in there. Now put your hands right up in front of these petals and we're just going to measure eight fingers. So put one hand here in front of the petals and then put your next hand right next to it and then right up above here we're going to grab it and twist it. And then twist it around the base of your next layer. So right here in here on these first two pinch twists at the bottom, just going to wrap that around. And then I'm going to go back up to the pink one. Don't even worry that it's like all crazy right now. It'll all come together. Put your hand right up above the petals. Four fingers, four fingers, like this. Go right up here above this hand and twist it. And go to the base and pinch twist at the bottom again. Work your way the whole way around the balloon. When you run out of one color, like if this isn't enough, this is like exactly enough. So right up here in front of these petals, four and four. Squeeze it just a hair. I'm going to tie that off and then put it in the base where these two next purple pinch twists are, lavender ones. And I'll cut off this remaining up above the knot. Make sure you tie it in a knot before you cut it off. And then we'll work our way the whole way around the balloon. Just keep going the whole way around. Now let's do the same thing with the third layer. Make sure your single color is in the middle. And the matching colors are on the top and bottom. So eight fingers. And then twist it around the bottom of one of these pinch twists. And work the whole way around. After you have your layers done, we're going to add the little icing decoration curves the little beads the whole way around, wherever you want. You can do just at the top and the bottom, or you can do at the top and the middle and the bottom. I did the top and the middle and the bottom on this cake, but I wanna see how it looks with just the top and the bottom. So take your Caribbean Blue 260, and we're gonna start way down here at the base again. Wrap the knot. And we're gonna make whatever looks good. Just kind of go around. It can be like seven, eight, or nine bubbles. Give them a good spin. Just wrap the knot around. You don't really have to tie it. Just wrap it in real good at these uh, bottom two pinch twists where you put the other rose pink glue. There's nine bubbles. I think that lays pretty nice. So I'm going to go with nine. Wrap it around and just keep working your way the whole way around the balloon. And then let's do the bottom and see what it looks like. Now after you add your Caribbean blue pearls the whole way around, you can decide if you want another layer in the center. In this case, I think maybe less is more and I'm going to leave it out. Next, take your two last 11 inch white linking balloons um, inflated to about an eight inch size about the size of your head and take an uninflated white 260 and we're going to tie it right in the center around the middle of the two linking balloons so tie it two times so it doesn't come undone and 
And then we're going to take them and shove them down in the center of the cake. Run one of the T60s, uninflated, <laughs> up through one of the flowers. You just want to kind of hold that whole balloon in. I'm just going to wrap it around there really good. I just kind of pulled it up through the center and wrapped it around the flower. And then did the same thing on the other side. It doesn't matter, I know it's not exactly even. So I'll just pick one of these flowers. Let's kind of look where the other one is. And pick a flower and wrap it up in there and kind of hide it. And then tuck it in. So you have the white one up in the middle of there. And then kind of pull up right in the center, pull that up just a hair. You want to push your balloon that's on the top of the cake up just a little bit so it's about even with the rest of the balloons. And the one on the bottom will be indented a little bit. And that's where we could tie it on a pole or you could just hand deliver it like this. And then we're going to put a flower on the very top where this knot is. So pick whatever color you want for the flower. If you're following along with this cake that I'm making, which is more like a little princess cake, I'm going to use a pink 260 with the bob 10 finger tail. I'm just going to make six little loops around one finger. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then break this part off. And tie it around. And then dump your cake and wrap that in with the top of the Lincoln balloon knot. And then we're going to run pearls, the pearl icing, just like this, up from the bottom of these base two bubble 260s at the bottom of the flowers, like underneath, where we attached everything else. And we're going to run them up underneath this flower and back down. Of course, we'll only be able to do that boom, 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 and then we'll have a single one go up. So let's do that now. And the color I'm going to use for that one is the rose pink. So rose pink 260s with 10 finger tail. And we're going to do it the same way we did these at the base of the 260s and run them up to the flower and over to the base of another flower until we have all the sections crossed. And I have about five bubbles running from here to the center. But I mean, just go with whatever kind of fits, five or six or whatever fits. And be careful, you're spinning everything in the same direction. You turn them really well and don't let go so they don't untwist. I think they hurt me. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is put the candle on the top. For my candle, I'm going to use a purple violet 350 and a little end piece about cut the balloon in half of a yellow 350. What you want to do is make a golf ball size bubble out of your 350. This is going to have about a 10 finger tail. Spin it around and we're going to pinch twist it the same way we did the 260. Just pull that knot really tight and turn it and then squeeze the air down towards the tail of the balloon a little bit. Spin it and turn it until you have this. I think I measured too, this is a 15 finger bubble. So five fingers, five fingers, and five fingers inflated. And then take your 350 and inflate it to about five fingers. And we're gonna make sure there's a little end up at the top. And it might be a good idea if you have a light a little balloon light to drop it in now 
and then tie it. I don't know where my lights are, so I'm just going to do it this way. Stretch this down and just kind of flip it around. You don't have to tie that. Just cut off after you wrap it in. Like above the knot right inside here. And then push the air up a little bit towards the top of the balloon. You don't have to do it really, really hard just so the balloon's not too mushy. Push it up a little, tie it in a knot. And then cut down about two inches. Then pick up your cake and we're just gonna pull this knot and wrap it right into that flower that's sitting on the top. Just wrap it around two or three times until it sits on there nice and tight. Hide your little knots. everything you want and there is your birthday cake now if you want to put it on the pole let me show you how to do that I'm gonna show you guys how to put the other cake on because it matches these round balloons I have um, so on your pole whether it's indoor or outdoor take your middle section of balloons and just kind of push it on the pole sort of maybe like about a hand's length down from the top of the pool, make sure you put an uninflated balloon on the end so it doesn't pop. Flip one this way and push one on this way. Kind of flip them around once you do that so they don't come off. Don't worry if they're crooked, the ones on the bottom and the top will hold them flat. Take my next section of balloons and I'm gonna use the bigger blue ones. Hold it on the pole right here. And then push this one on the pole that way, and then kind of flip it over. And then it sits straight. And then I'm going to put two more five inch round ones right underneath. So I'm going to push them on this way, push the other one on that way, and flip one of them over and kind of tuck them into this little crevice up here so it sits nice and flat. So what you want to do is take your cake and go to the bottom of it and tie two uninflated 260s right in the center around this knot of the center linking bubble. You're going to hold two here and hold two here, set it in the center of the balloon and bring, see how I have the 260s on both sides? Bring it down it snug and then you're gonna crisscross it you can see me um, but I'm gonna crisscross it this way and then that way and then pull it and then I'm gonna tie it underneath so while I'm still holding on to it right here I'm gonna tie this in a knot which is hard to do because I need more um, camera space to show you tie it once and then Tie it again so it doesn't come off the pole. Especially if you have this outside and it's windy. I mean, you could just walk to the door and hand them a big cake too. So, this sits pretty tall. I just want to show you guys, this sits really, really tall on this short pole. So, once you put the cake on, see that? I'm like 5'9". So this goes way up there, probably like with a candle, like eight or nine feet. But it goes up really, really tall. Whenever you put it on the stand. And that is your cake. You take it off. And don't forget to curls or ribbon or whatever you want to your pool. Like curly cues hanging down. Just tie them together at the knots and push them down, wedge them out. I have that in my um, first balloon outdoor decor video. Before I put the cake on the pool, I'm gonna say it's about four feet tall. And here are your birthday cakes. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please hit 
like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy twisting, guys.